My name is Kevin, I am 19, and I have a Mountain Dew drinking addiction. Freedom! Freedom! I could explain. Yeah, uh, my name is Lars, uh, my brother is Kevin. Uh, I am concerned about his Mountain Dew drinking addiction. It started off from around a bottle a day, and now it's moved up past 15 liters. And it's starting to concern me. Uh, my entire family is extremely concerned about him, and uh, I'm worried for his health. My name is John Doe. I work with Kevin at a local restaurant. And we sell Coca-Cola products, but he always brings in one of these Mountain Dews all the time. I've tried to give him Coca-Cola, and he won't accept it. He just spits it right out. And honestly, I'm worried about him. He needs to get over this and be able to drink anything else except for that nasty stuff. Hi, my name's Bob. I'm the father of Kevin. This stuff has been destroying my life for the last 10 years. I remember one time, 2 o'clock in the morning, I come downstairs and I see Kevin butt naked shoving a, a two liter bottle in his main parts and in the back so I was like quite concerned as a father and this was the point this is where the, the teethering happened this is where he started to just drink from one bottle a day to one a, to, to two liters a day to four liters a day to six liters a day to eight liters so and it just keeps going on and on. So I'm just, I just, I just really want my strange addictions to solve this crisis in my family, you know? Cause it's just got to do goddamn good. Oh, I'm Dr. Chikondis. Uh, I've been working with this particular subject for approximately six months now. And in all of my time, I, d I think I've yet to see a case similar at all to this one. Because usually when people get addicted to shit, it's like drugs, like mattresses, not fucking soda. You're a goddamn disappointment to this family! My monitor! For treatments, we have tried a multitude of different things. We start with standard therapy. So, where where do you where do you feel this this problem ha started? Honestly, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay, man. It's okay. Then, from there, we moved on to attempting musical therapy. That didn't work either, so we end up going with alternative medicines. Also, that didn't work, so next we attempted waterboarding. What the fuck is going on? Nothing. Healing. My, my, my own then BDSM. Then isolation treatment. Help! Get back and fuck! Oh fuck! Get back and fuck! Ah! Oh, no! 
And that's all we've gotten so far. <coughs> so, Kevin, uh, we, we are here for an, an intervention. Uh, and I believe some of your family have something something to tell you. Man, dude, you, you, you need to, you know, take it easy with the Mountain Dew. Yeah, I'm really worried about you. You're, uh, you're drinking way too much Mountain Dew for anyone to actually digest. Like, it's scientifically not possible for you to drink this much Mountain Dew. Is there anything you have to say for yourself? You know, as a group of friends, we're all worried about you, and we're gonna do one last test to see if, you know, you've, you know, drink it and what, what do you, what do you, do you pay attention? Good to go. This is your last test. So you said you said you'd pay me once he was once he was cured. Yeah, he's dead.